So I'm gonna share with you how I swing trade. It is not a professional swing trader. I'm just a guy on the internet um, making trades, making some money. It is not my full-time job to swing trade. If you want a full-time job, go learn how to day trade. Swing trading is for someone like me. You have responsibilities in the daytime. You have things to do. Maybe you're working but you do enjoy trading and you just want to make additional income, then swing trading is a lot easier. Don't expect to become a millionaire and get rich immediately. This helps you supplement your income. It is not going to replace your income. This is my trading view setup for my swing trade. So on the left side over here, there is all these colors. Now let's just run through them. So these lines are the moving averages, more specifically the exponential moving average with the blue line, which is the main line that I use is 21 exponential moving average. Now I don't necessarily trade off the exponential moving average. The only one that I trade is the 21 exponential moving average. The rest are all just kind of there. Um, just for guidance. The only one that I would is the 89 exponential moving average, which is this one over here. So let's get these moving averages out of the way. Green area is the average true range, one average true range of the 21 exponential moving average. Yellow one over here, this is two average true range. And the last one over here, the red one is three average true range away from the 21 exponential moving average. So I use this as a green light, yellow light, red light. Um, I, I didn't come up with all these ideas. I've, I've taken knowledge from a whole bunch of other people and I've just consolidated to find my own trading style. So you may have heard of this before, like the trading, uh, the traffic light system. If you're taking a trade according to a trend, you only want to enter within the green zones. And if you're doing a mean reversion, ideally you want to take it in the red zones. Not too ideal would be the yellow zones, but you never take a mean reversion version setup um, in the green zone. Now let's move down to this one. This, all right, I gotta scroll all the way to the end, is a multiple time frame exponential moving average indicator. You can see right here, there is the five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, two hour, four hour, daily and weekly. In reality, I only use the daily and the weekly exponential moving averages. So how I would normally set this up is I'll make this a lot smaller. I would only be interested in seeing the weekly and daily bars. And you can tell by W and D. So what is ST and LT? One is short term and long term. So, so long term refers to when the eight exponential moving average is above the 21 exponential moving average, which is above the 34 exponential moving average, and it's above the 55 exponential moving average. This is long term. And for short term, it means that the eight exponential average is above the 21 exponential moving average, which is above the 34 exponential moving average. Okay, so when this happens, it turns green right here. When this is not the case, so let's say price has moved, it does something like this. So now the eight exponential moving average, which is this one, is no longer above the 21 exponential moving average, then it turns yellow. Okay, so this means that we're not certain what's going on. So it turns red when the 8 eventually crosses down, the 21 eventually crosses down, and we also have the 34 that eventually crosses down. So which lets me know that everything is in sync, everything is going down. So be careful. This allows me to screen through the market and understand where momentum is, where, where is price headed to from the daily perspective and the weekly perspective without me having to chart all of the exponential moving averages because we're swing trading and we're swing trading in terms of days to weeks. So the next most important one are the weekly. So this is basically the entire weekly exponential moving average without me having to see it on my chart at all, right? So is price action above the 21? Is the eight above the 13? Is the 13 above the 21? 21 above 34? 34 above 55? And is the 55 above 89? And is it above the 144? On the weekly time frame. So this lets me understand where we are without having to put on so many lines on my chart. And it gives me an idea of where the market is heading, where is momentum, where are we trending? Because as a swing trader, we are trying to capture the trends. If markets don't trend, we don't make money. But there are so many stocks in the US market, you will always find something that is trending. Then next we have this indicator, which I think you guys know is a combination of the high-low index, the McClellan oscillator, the VIX, and the put-to-call ratio. 
So I can see all of that data is basically four indicators all in one indicator, which allows me to see what's going on in the markets. And I use this as a bottom fishing indicator. So whenever this green line fires, this white line fires, it basically means that a bottom of the market has arrived. I should probably go long. All right, my biasness needs to change, whether short term or long term, this is when I need to change my bias. Note that this only works on the S&P 500. A multi-look indicator is looking at the broad market, so you cannot use this for individual stocks. It does not work. Now, I want to show you what's on the right side of the chart, which is really, really interesting. We have the average pivot points. Now, the way this is calculated is by taking the high minus the open divided by the close and the open minus the low divided by the close. That's how we get these levels here. So white is the opening of the month. The red is the high point one. The green over here is the low point one. High point two is the one above and low point two is the one below. So I didn't create this. This was taken off someone else. I'm just taking information from a lot of people. This is These are pivot points that are based off um, some algorithm that was designed in the past and they are trying to compete against the algorithm by writing one on their own to see where market structure is going to be. Um, I don't know how relevant it is these days, but what I do know is that I can have a very dynamic range and a box where I can expect prices to move and I have the exact percentages. So 11% of the times price close above high point two, 31% of the time it closes at high point one, 19% it closes here and 6% where it closes here. That's basically it. Now with this, now this is where it gets a little interesting, right? So the next one is HLR, right? So how often does it touch high point one and reverse all the way back down to a low point two or vice versa. Only 17% of the times. And it will be highlighted when that happened. For example, here, price went up, touched pivot point one and went all the way down to touch pivot point two. Doesn't happen often. Only 17% chance of this happen now. Um, HL2 return to opening. So, so there is only a 4.55% chance where price were to move all the way down to pivot point two and return back to the opening. Now, why are these percentages important? Because if you're like me and you trade options, having the percentages, this gives you a slight edge on where prices are going to move. And if you are going to trade out of the box or in the box. Now for, for supply and demand zones, that's where the TPOs come in. Now this is where I mark out my support and resistance um, and trade off it. Well, so this is for a shorter term time frame kind of analysis. So for trades within like, you know, like three to four days, this is what I do. So I'll be, so I will mark out for a uh, value area, high value area, low. I'll just put a box. And as you can see, when I see price uh, return back to it and it's moving away, sometimes I'll enter here. Sometimes I'll wait for a retest and now go long. This just happened yesterday, but that's cause the Federal Reserve came out. Um, but again, so you have a uh, value area, high value area, low. I marked this out and guess what? We retested that it would have been a very good trade for you to start going short somewhere along here, um, but I didn't catch it. I was asleep on, on this day. So I don't really do too much day trades because at night, usually I'm very busy. So I don't do too much day trades. Normally I look for mean reversion plays. And when price is within the entry zone, this green line, I go long when we are in a uptrend. Similarly, I look for long entries super long-term entries based on the McClellan Oscillator and the Hilo Index, right? So for example, you can see Apple, when it starts to trend and it's trending hard, you we'll probably have exited here, maybe at one entry here, one entry here, exit here. I'm just highlighting areas where they're in the red zone and green zone, green zone, red zone. And so when we find trending markets like that, it becomes, becomes exceptionally easy for us to enter. I'm constantly learning new things and um, it keeps changing. So I can't say that this is how it's going to stay forever. There are certain periods of time where I really use the pivot points more than the mean reversion. Um, it really just depends on where I am in, in space and, and what I'm researching on, what I'm learning about. If I'm really into options, this becomes way more important. If I am simply taking uh, leveraged longs and leveraged uh, shots, then this is what I'll be looking at normally. But overall, when there's a confluence, when many, many things are working together, then, then you can expect this to work. Some of these indicators are available on my website. For example, the EMA plots, the average pivot point, I will release it soon. 
Um, everything else here is free except for the multi-look indicator. This is the one thing that is um, not free and the reason why it's not free is because I put a lot of effort into coloring it correctly and, and putting in all of the settings. Get all four indicators in one indicator so you only use one indicator slot. Uh, saves you money so that you don't have to pay trading view if you're not ready for it yet. Everything else here is free. I, all this is coded by myself. I put in lots of effort and I try different and many different things before I even publish it which is why uh, sometimes I don't publish it as well.